Hey, this is Sarah Stevens, and this is my presentation on the ethical violations and board discipline um, video blog. Um, I wanted to answer the first question with what are the most common reasons for a, a board to discipline um, a counselor, and predominantly coming in at 24%, which is the highest percentage. Um, out of the 30 states that responded to New Craig and his colleague's study, um, their biggest complaint was dual relationships, and then coming in second place at 17% was incompetence, followed by professional misrepresentation, sexual relationships with clients, breach of confidentiality, inappropriate fee assessments, failure to obtain informed consent, and failure to report abuse. Um, those were the um, complaints um, from clients that were reported to the board um, the most, and those were the things that the counselors were disciplined on. And when I read this, I was kind of shocked. Um, I know that this happens, but I guess to see numbers put to it, it it's kind of a wake-up call um, that we are all um, subject to sin um, and that it is our um, high calling and major responsibility to make sure that um, we, keep, we keep our eyes on Christ as counselors and we continue to um, praise Him in all that we do so that we can stay above reproach um, and in line with all of the ACA Code of Ethics. Um, I also wanted to talk about the themes that I saw when I look at the common reasons for board discipline. Um, I think if I could put everything under one umbrella, it would be the tendency to put oneself above your client. Um, if you have a dual relationship, you're feeling your need. If you have an inappropriate, selfish um, sexual relationship, you're feeling your need. Um, when you're crossing that line or you're functioning out of incompetence, you are looking to self and you're not looking to care for others. Um, one of the recent cases in North Carolina, because in South Carolina, my state, they don't list um, publicly um, counselor names with those that have had um, disciplinary actions, but in um, the state of North Carolina, they do, and the case of um, Joanna Carr Cross, LPCA, um, she's the respondent, and the case number 1615, um, her um, license was actually terminated, and it's actually a lengthy one, so I'm going to put a link in um, with my um, video on the bottom so you guys can read it. But it talks about how she was caught having a romantic relationship with her client's dad. And um, she tried to explain it away as she didn't know that the client was the child of the father that she was dating. But, of course, it came out that she did know and she had done a lot of ethical things, like um, a client had texted her once saying that he um, was crying so hard he couldn't successfully commit suicide because he couldn't see his hand, or his arm, excuse me, um, clearly enough to cut his wrist, so he just scratched until they bled. Um, and her response was just, we'll talk about it in the next session, basically. Um, so just, you know, lots of reasons for... Um, her license um, to be completely revoked from her. And um, the ACA Code of Ethics that apply to this is pretty much, honestly, all of A5 and A6, which A5 is prohibited non-counseling roles and relationships, and A6 is managing and maintaining um, boundaries and professional relationships. Um, and when you're not having those boundaries, that means that you are muddying the water for self-gain, which really isn't self-gain. It's just a temporary um, sinful soothe to um, just a fleeting desire um, that just turns out to be sin. And, you know, we either pay for it in this life or the next when we meet our Savior. Um, and the question that this brings to mind for me is actually, how do I stay above reproach? 
um, we are all subject to sin. So how do I make sure that I stay above reproach? And that just makes me want to continue to um, dive into my Bible study and be a part of my church and just continually grow closer to Christ because um, anyone can make mistakes. And what it takes is just remaining in the presence of the Lord as close as you can um, so that we choose him above all else. Um, thank you so much.